What's up, Auburn Nation? It is Jim Bobbington. Recently, I realized that my front brake pads were dangerously low. Uh, I'm not even sure if there is any pad left, so I need to do hurry up and get them replaced before I damage the rotor. So that's what we're doing today. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. So overall, this job seems like it should be very simple. Uh, first thing we got to do is remove these two bolts, which look like they are an eight millimeter. Okay. Okay, I still got more life left than I thought I did. But too late now, we're changing them. Okay, so next up, we've got to remove this bolt with a T20. Uh, but on the other side, there's this little retaining clip we got to pop off. Let's try. Not to lose it? All right. Okay. With that, the pads want to fall right out. We got this little clip that's just held in there by two compression points. There's another clip here. I don't think we need to remove that, but we just want to make sure we don't lose it in the process. So the book says you should clean this with new brake fluid, but that seems like a waste to me. Uh, I'm not buying a liter of brake fluid just so I can use a tiny bit. So I'm going to use some brake clean. Make sure and don't get it on your paint. really want to focus on the points around the piston so that when you push it in you are not introducing some dirt and grime into it okay so to push the piston in it's best to reinstall the pad so you can get even pressure See if I can do this with. Oh, yeah. Ricky Bobber had a nice little trick to use something for leverage. And so I'm going to use a wrench handle and try the same thing. Or pliers, rather. There we go, yeah. I just wanted to use something soft. Both pistons are just about as far in as they're going to go. Okay, so what I picked up was some EBC double H centered pads. They sound like they will be a, have a more powerful bite on them. Don't forget to click this guy back in. But also last longer than the OEM brakes. So I have about 9,500 miles on mine.
All right, before I get those bad boys in, they do suggest that you grease this pin. I just got some brake lube here. And that is coming right out. You don't need much. And you definitely don't want to get that on the pads. Okay, if you could see back here, there's a notch that these ends go into. And that's what I'm trying to get accomplished here. Get one situated. And the other. All right. Also going to clean off ABS sensor while I'm here because why not replace this little pin and let's tighten her up okay now the tricky part is to get them back on. Okay, I guess that wasn't that hard. Okay, now we just need to tighten it to 35 foot-pounds. Lastly, uh, since we shoved the brake pistons way back in, we need to build that pressure back up. So the brake lever is probably going to be real squishy. Yeah. Just keep pumping it until it comes back. There it is. Well, that was crazy easy. Uh, nothing to be afraid of there. Anybody could do that for sure with very minimal tools. Uh, it's like mid 40s out here right now so i'm not sure if i'm going to get a chance to go bed in the brakes but i'd like to do that as soon as possible get a uh, feel for how the new brakes feel uh but um we will i may make a video on that bedding in process so stay tuned but other than that i want you to remember don't be a skid mark this is jim bobbington we'll see you next time